Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to digitally colour your traditional sketches in Abyss Paint. While digitally colouring traditional artwork is not the easiest thing and is difficult to do bright colours with, it is definitely possible if you want to add a bit of shading or just a bit of blush. In fact, you could even colour the whole thing, though some lined paper might get in your way a bit and it's not going to be very bright. But there is a way to do it. So firstly, of course, import whatever traditional sketch that you have that you want to colour. I just found this quickly, and once you import your image, it will say Extract Line Drawing. Then you're going to want to click OK. Then once you do, you can mess with the settings a bit if you want. This will see how clear you want the line out to be, or just, it will essentially help you customise the whole thing a little. And then you can go right underneath the layer and you will be able to colour it in. Making a layer underneath it will make it act as a sort of line art and as you can see you can indeed colour in over your traditional stuff. However, as you can see right here, this is a pretty bright colour that I've selected and when you put it on it becomes less bright. That is just how the traditional sketches work and it kind of sucks but that's how they work in Abyss at least. It's also pretty much the same in Medibang, although in Medibang it is a little bit better. While it's not the best experience, it's definitely enough to just colour a little bit of the drawing. Or to add a bit of blush or something. It is a bit awkward though because of the effect that it has, it makes it really difficult to make colouring on a traditional piece easy. Of course, you can lower the opacity of your own things or blur the edges of them to make them look better. But that is essentially how you do it. You can mess around with the blending modes if you want or make the drawing sharper or smoother. That is all your choice. I personally find that if you do blend the edges out a bit when you've coloured, it does make it a lot better. And while it will never really look like a traditional bit of colouring, it will look nice. Thank you very much for watching the video. That was how to colour your traditional sketches digitally. Remember, you can do as little or as much as you want. Thanks for watching. Bye.